Idaho Falls Pediatrics, where are you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Emmy? Hey guys, welcome back to Seven Questions with Emmy. Today I'm chatting with Amy McKechnie, the author of a new book for youth called 10,000 Tries. I love this book. It's so good. Thank you, Emmy. That's so nice of you. I'm so glad you loved it. I, love I read it. a chapter in five minutes, so I finished the book pretty quick. You are a good reader. We're book nerds in our house. We always <laughs> go to the nerds. library. They're, they're my favorite people, those book nerds. Amy's also written the uncovered, unforgettable Guinevere St. Clair is the mother of four children and happens to be my dad's cousin. Thanks for chatting with me today, Amy. Thank you for having me as your guest. I'm very honored. Guys, Amy's going to tell us some dirt on dad. So I'm excited <laughs> about that because he said when he was a kid, he was a little angel. But I don't think that's true. He I did a lot that. of pranks on us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Question number one. How did you come up with the idea for 10,000 charts? I would say it comes down to three things. One is my son. And you know, in this book, Golden is obsessed with Messi, the soccer player. And my son was little, like Golden, and he was obsessed with Messi. He even made his own 10,000 tries chart, and he had it on his wall. And he would make these little lines for every hour he practiced. That's what Golden did. Exactly. And I love that. I loved his heart and his effort. And number two was I had a really good friend with ALS at the same time that Nelson was playing soccer. So I was watching my son want to be bigger and stronger and faster and my really strong friend become weaker and slower. And that was, that was really hard. Mm -hmm. And then at the, the same time as all of that, I was coaching a co-ed soccer team and they are so funny. Um, so all of those ideas came together really, really fun. How long did it take you to write the book? I would say years and years. So this is how I write a book. I do a fast first draft, like in one month, and then I send it to my sister and a few other friends who read it. And while they're reading it, I start writing a new book or I start editing something else. And then they send me the manuscript back and I'll go and edit it over and over and over and I'll send it back and forth a couple times. And that might take, that might take over a year. And then I have to send it to my literary agent and she looks at it. And then I have to send it to my editor and she looks at it and we went back and forth. I, I joke around that it took 10,000 drafts to write this book because <laughs> it was so long. Be, um, to get it right. But finally, I think we got it right. And we're going to just launch it into the world. Mm -hmm. I was playing soccer at the time I was reading the book. It taught me some life skills. What did writing it teach you? Um, I think, you know, I've always, I love my family. I love having kids. I love how we work together. But I think this book even taught me a lot about what it means to be a team, um, both on the field and then a team as your family, because your family is your team too. And you've got captains and you've got players and you're all players on the same team. And you know, if one person on the team can kind of drag down everyone else, one person can also lift everyone up. And if you, if you work together towards the same goal, it sometimes feels pretty magical. So I, I loved kind of thinking about my family as my team. And you know how Golden has to try really hard to sometimes be nicer and um, work together with his family as a team and remember how to be a captain. He wrote another book called The Unforgettable Guinevere St. Clair. Was 10,000 tries easier or harder to write? And how was it different? Um, so here's this book. This took me years to write too, probably longer. So I, I hope that, you know, you would think that after writing one book, 
the next book would be a little bit easier to write. And I'm not sure that's actually true because you have new characters, a new story, a new plot. So they were both really hard. Um, I would say with this one, it was fun because my kids were more involved. For instance, Nelson and Paige that say, no, mom, you can't say that. Or they would double check my work. You know how, I don't know if you take the school bus, but kids are always saying stuff on the bus. And so they would kind of help me with that dialogue. So in that way, it was, it was different. And that was also really fun. Your family used to spend summers with my dad and his family. Can you tell me a funny memory you have with him and some dirt you have on him? <laughs> I was so excited for this question. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just tell you, I'll just tell you one story. I mean, we could be here all night, right? Yeah, that's how much. But yeah. I have to make it to swimming, so. I have to make it to swimming, Okay. So this one time we were camping, we were up in a cabin up in Idaho and we, oh, were, yeah. riding, <laughs> we were riding horses and we put all the horses back in a corral and they were all in this big pen. And I said to Nate, I said, let's go ride with the wild or let's go run with the wild horses. <laughs> so we tiptoed into the corral and we looked around and we were surrounded by all of these stallions and horses. And all of a sudden, your dad goes, yeah, and smacked the back of a horse. And they all took off running. And it was like a huge stampede. And we're lucky we weren't run over by the horses. But all of them got out of the pen. And I knew at that moment we were going to be in so much trouble. And we were. And the owners had to go and round up all of the horses. And it was kind of funny at the time, but <laughs> it was really, really funny after that. And we've laughed about that for many, many years. <laughs> Why do you write books? Well, I love stories. I love reading. Um, I'm a book nerd, too. And I really love the idea of telling a story that someone like Emmy would read and really, really love. And you saying, I love this book means so much to me. And when I meet kids in a classroom or somewhere and they say that it meant something to them, it's, it's the best job in the world. Yeah. Do you have any plans to write more books? Lots and lots and lots of books. I think you're going to like my next one. It's about... Um, six very naughty children and they have a nanny named lord tennyson and he's their dog and it's going to be really funny and i'm excited uh, when will that come out <laughs> well funny you should say that i got my contract five minutes before i got on air with you so i hope in 2022 you're the first one to know now it's time for some bonus questions you ready i'm ready Okay, I'm thinking about writing a book. What suggestions do you have for me? Well, I think that you're already doing two really great things. You love to read, and you will become a really good writer if you read a lot. And you're very curious, and you like asking questions. And so that means you're paying attention. So if you keep paying attention, asking questions, and read a lot, and then, of course, you have to write. But I think, I mean, you've got it all going on. You can write that book. Mm -hmm. You went to college in Idaho. What did you like about living here? Hmm. I really loved Idaho. It's very different from New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. All these green trees. That's um, there are trees in Idaho, but yeah, um, not as you know not as green and lush as it is here but there's no humidity there or very little i really like that i like the the beauty of the desert that's really nice and you know there's those wild horses those are fun oh and i learned to country dance in idaho so that was fun too what's your favorite sweet my favorite sweet um i like pretty much anything chocolate. Um, if you ask, 
Yes. Like a Hershey's candy bar with almonds slightly I'm melted. In love with that. I'm in love with that. We're a pair. We're a match. I also love symphony bars. I love the symphony bar. I'm with you. We'll have to split a symphony when I see you. Yes. What advice do you have for me? I don't know, Emmy. I mean, you, you've got it going on. Everything that you're doing. Are you eight years old? Mm -hmm. I just got baptized. That and I got exciting. a symphony bar for my baptism. I love that. I would say keep doing exactly what you're doing. You're asking questions. You're going to swimming lessons. You're reading. You're so nice. You're wonderful. Please read 10,000 Tries. It's an amazing book. You can pre-order um, or buy it. Um, on July 13th. You can pre-order it now. Thank you for chatting with me today, Amy. Amy, thank you for having me. It was my pleasure for sure. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Idaho Falls Pediatrics, proud of you supporting kids in our community and seven questions with Amy.